Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on uh, another great, great video. Now, first off, thanks to Justin for doing such a great job, but this right here uh, doesn't really need Justin's help. This right here is spectacular on its own. I don't need to say anything else about it. I can just walk away. You can look at the car for a little bit, but I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and ruin your day and talk about this car a little bit more. So, 99 Ferrari, 355 Spider, meaning convertible, obviously. Uh, in this case here, black, black, and black. So we're talking about a triple black, last year built 355. You know, these are known uh, throughout the uh, Ferrari world as, as the Ferraris with real style. You know, they said the 308s, 328s had style. These cars here, great, great style, and it has soldiered on really well. This one in particular is a little bit nicer. I love the triple black because it's so different. It's not so much in your face as a red car. Not that I don't love a red car because the red car looks great, but this right here has an elegance, very similar to like a, like a velvet hammer, right? So we're talking about, uh, uh, you know, on our way up to 400 horsepower here. This one has a special exhaust system, special wheels and tires. We're gonna walk around, we're gonna look at some of those details, but let's take a peek here first and, uh, and check this out. So look how nice this black paint is. Look how you can read every word in there. This is what you wanna be seeing when you're uh, online looking at cars. Somebody needs to be able to show you how clear they can see the camera. You can see exactly uh, what kind of uh, uh, ugly goatee the guy might have or whatever that might be. You need to be able to see that clearly because pictures alone do, uh, can make any car look great and the video doesn't lie. All right, so come on up here for a second. These are pretty expensive. You go online, you look up, uh, first off, before I forget, these are uh, uh, fender shields. And these fender shields here are factory fenders with the fender shields. You actually have to order this car with these fenders because it has the impression built into the fender from the factory. These are not stick on decals. This is actually uh, an original piece and it's molded into the fender, which makes it look really nice. Okay, you can go online and check these out and see how much they are for yourself. These are HREs, three piece alloys, even down to the little Ferrari uh, valve stem cap on here. You see the big brakes sticking through here. You can see the brake cooling ducts that go right in through the front underneath and right onto the rotors right there. Cooling inside here and just a beautiful, beautiful body. The one thing that a lot of people ask us, uh, you know, we do, uh, we sell a few of these a year. Uh, the one thing they ask us first off a lot of times is how do I get in the car? I don't see any door handles. So we always make them take that time to check that out. But the little bit of style that you forget to ask, like for instance, this right here, a great piece of style, right? This cutout right here, beautiful piece of style. There's no door handles right here. Like for instance, like pan over here for a second, Justin. See how the door handle is definitely an afterthought. You gotta have it, but an afterthought. And here, they've kind of molded it all in here and it's underneath. Like check that out. That's pretty cool. A couple other options that, we, uh, that we're gonna bring up to you. So we talked about the fender badges. We talked about the uh, HRE wheels. This right here is an upgrade here, the Challenge grill in the back. The exhaust system, when I open up uh, the engine compartment, we're gonna see that. And that's a, a 2B exhaust, and it's a pretty expensive exhaust, but it doesn't matter what it costs, because it sounds so good, it doesn't really matter. If you can afford a 2B exhaust, you have to buy it. If you have a minivan, buy a 2B exhaust for it. It doesn't matter. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, let's take a peek uh, where, where all this music is made. Come on up here for a second. All right, this is kind of cool here. Let's check this out for a second. Right here, the reason you want that is, I'm not sure if you can buy this or not anymore, but the sticker here is a factory original sticker showing the car originally was black. And look at the detail in here. All the decals are still in here. This is a low mileage car driven a couple thousand miles a year. It's serviced, and it's really ready to go. But come on in here, I want to show you the muffler for a second. Even the muffler has the call outs for what engine it is or what model it is. And then the muffler's polished on top of it. That's what you get when you get a 2B exhaust and we fire this thing up, you'll hear it. Now people say, you say to me, well, God, I just, I've heard they're just so expensive to maintain. They're really not, I'll tell you why. Because when they've had the major service done like this right here, they're just like any other car. They're gonna need an oil change once a year or twice a year, depending on the mileage. The oil filter is right here. It's not some crazy oil filter that you have to get from uh, Boeing. Um, and the oil fill is easy to get to. And a lot of this stuff is, is, believe it or not, a lot of stuff on these cars is the same air conditioning compressor that they build for a Maserati, a Ferrari, a Porsche, the same company is making them for all these. So they're very interchangeable. 
and uh, they're not, uh, you know, they're not as ridiculous as everybody thinks they have. We've had really great luck with these. The people that bought them from us love them, and uh, it's pretty rare that we ever get one back. All right, let's take a peek inside for a second. But before we get inside, I want to talk a little bit about uh, uh, Italian style. So, for instance, like if you're looking for a great suit, you know, mm, Italian style is legendary over maybe an Argentinian suit or maybe a Chinese suit. All right, and the reason why is it's the little stuff that we talked about, like the door handles that are not there. Uh, the cutouts in here, the challenge grill. For instance, like this right here, this is the boot that covers the power electric convertible top, right? It's made of leather. It smells good. It feels good. It's that kind of stuff. For instance, like the interior of this car, everything in this car is swathed in leather. The center console is covered in leather. The door panels are covered in leather. The dash is covered in leather. It just goes on and on, and it's just so nice. And what Ferrari did here is they were able to take a car that makes, let's say, around 400 horsepower, right? Make it wicked fast, handle beautifully, but still be able to take your wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it is you have, uh, out in a car like this. Take your husband out if, if, if you want to and, and show him what this great car can do. You can drive this car. Anyone can drive this car. The great thing about it, it's a real six-speed manual transmission. The difference is... The computer controls the clutch pedal and the gear change for you. You just tell it what you want it to do, whether you want it to go up a gear or down a gear. This has the F1 transmission in it. All race cars have gone to it. As of 2011, you can't get a stick shift in a Ferrari anymore. They've all gone to this right here because, first off, it saves wear and tear on the car. You can't make a mistake and over rev the car. You can't miss a shift. It will, won't let you stall out at a traffic light. It'll downshift for you automatically and handle all kinds of little details, but still allows you to drive this car really, really well and make you feel like a professional driver, especially here in that exhaust note out the, back, out the back, which is just wicked. Great looking center console. Now keep in mind, we're talking about a 99 right now. We're talking about a 12, 13 year old car uh, and the styling is held up great. This happens to have uh, uh, a navigation system in it. So it has AM, FM, satellite, CD, navigation, that's the upgrade there. I think it fits in the car fine. I don't think this car is too old school uh, to need that. This also has uh, dual power seats and it has a power top also. And the way you do that is just by uh, rolling those seats forward there. Carbon trim inside looks very nice. Got power mirrors, heated outside mirrors, power windows, power locks. It's got a great alarm system. Car won't even start unless uh, you have the key fob. It's already set up for satellite because the satellite antennas are right there on the dash. It's an awesome, awesome car and it's ready to go. So you're getting some like really cool exotic kind of uh, flavor here, but you're getting some like modern comfort too. Like you could go away for a while in this car uh, and I'll show you where the soft luggage sits in here and drive it for hours and it just rides really nice. Now it does have this right here which changes everything and that's the sport mode. The sport mode, what it does is changes the characteristics of the engine so you're going to get a little crisper uh, throttle response. Um, also changes the characteristics of the transmission. The transmission shifts are going to be a little harder. Has an electromagnetic suspension system in it, which is going to firm up those shocks and dampeners on sport mode and, uh, and really give you the great handling that these are legendary for. But what I love so much about it is when it's off sport mode, it really, really rides nice. It's not killing your back, your kidneys. You can talk to whoever it is in the car. You look into, into the stereo. You can do whatever. You can have a normal kind of life in here, but if you want it to be wicked fast and wicked handling, when you flip this switch, and it shows right there on the dash, pretty big, this is what I got going on. So you got a 10,000 RPM tack, 200 mile an hour speedometer. I'm not sure if, uh, if it'll hit 200, but uh, I'll leave that up for you to find out, okay? <laughs> Let's take a peek in here. And the reason I want to show you this is for a couple different reasons. Because first off, uh, I'll show you and you'll, you'll not understand why. Like the customer kept the original Ferrari radio, even labeled Ferrari. Okay. All right. This is the DVD navigation for uh, the navigation system. This has a factory CD changer. So that's all in there. Okay. Then it has the original uh, toolkit, books and manuals, and it has a Ferrari cover. You don't have to leave all this stuff in here, so it leaves you all of this nice uh, storage area in here where you can throw two or three soft bags in and go away for a weekend. 
So this is a real world livable car. It's not an exotic that can only go to the track. It's a car that's, uh, that looks exotic, feels exotic, but plays double duty as a real grand touring car also. We talked a lot about this car and all the things and features and fun and everything that goes along with it. But at the end of the day, it's a triple black 355 Spider with the F1 shifter, low mileage, and great looking. It's got some great options in it, some very expensive added features uh, that you don't have to pay for. And it's been driven, you know, uh, a couple thousand miles a year. Been serviced already, comes with service records, comes with uh, receipts, and it comes as a really great car and is an awesome, awesome piece. If you could ever afford a Ferrari in your life, like this is the time to get it and this would be a great car uh, to make that choice on. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000 and we'll tell you all about it.